Hey guys, I'm here at the Prineville Water Treatment Facility, and today we're going to run some water quality tests. Now, what does that entail? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. So let's head inside and test the waters. Hey guys, I'm here with Eric Dickinson. He is a water treatment plant operator, level A. So Eric, what are we doing today? Uh, today I'm going to go over what we do here at the lab uh, at the water plant and we check all kinds of different levels in the water with parameters. We check uh, pH, we check turbidity. That's basically checking the amount of particles that are in the water. Okay. Um, we're also going to check chlorine of the water. When we get started we're going to go ahead and uh, write down our tank levels from the computer and we're going to go ahead and grab samples from the accelerator. Once we grab those samples, we'll come back inside and check all of our parameters in the lab here. We have strict guidelines that we have to follow to be in check with DEP standards and also for the Department of Health. All right, well, uh, if you want, we could run some tests. Are you ready to dive on in? I'm ready to test these waters. <laughs> start running our pH and turbidity okay. on our accelerator sample. So we'll take this and we'll make sure that's empty. Give us a little bit of this to get started on our pH. We rinse our pH probe off with DI water before we put our sample in there. There's a magnet in here and there's a magnet mixer inside. We're going to grab this NTU cell, make sure we get a representative sample. And we'll put this in here with this white arrow pointing towards, you. Pointing towards this arrow here. Okay. Close the lid and then push the read button. Now we're going to run our sludge sample. We're going to dump this into the 1,000 mil line. And then we're going to start our five minute timer. And that's going to settle out for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And you'll see a clear difference of yeah. where the sludge and the water will settle. And that'll be our sludge level for our accelerator. All right, we're going to grab a 100 mil sample of our transfer to check for our free chlorine. And you want the bottom of the bubble to be right at that 100 mil line. That's yeah. the meniscus. It's going to be right there. And then you dump it into your flask to check your chlorine. All right, here, Nicole, would you like to give it a try? All right, let's do it. All right, so you're going to do okay. five mils of the DPT buffer. And then we're going to add five mils of the DPT indicator. Perfect. Okay. And then you got to swirl it? Yeah, give it just a little swirl. Okay, so like swirl this. it to your right. And, yep, and, and then, then just turn that. You can turn it slowly and you'll feel slowly. it. I think just one takes more takes a little drop. practice. There you go. Stop there and just give it a swirl. What do you have? We're here 24-7, um, round the clock staffing. Uh, we have to have people here. And we always have two operators on site because we have two plants on site here. We have our RO plant for osmosis. And we have the lime softening plant, which is here. Um, so it requires an uh, operator to be on shift at all times. Thank you so much, Eric, for showing me around today. I really appreciate it. And I think the residents of Port St. Lucie appreciates it, too. It's good. We do it all for them to have clean, safe drinking water. And that's what we do.